when Ajahn Suat was here, he would say, remind yourself each time you meditate that you're doing something important. This is a high-level job you're working on, training the mind, seeing where it's creating unnecessary stress and suffering for itself and learning how to stop doing that, seeing that it really is unnecessary. And learning that you have other ways of shaping your experience. Like right now, you can focus on your breath. You make the breath comfortable. If you don't focus on the breath, it might be comfortable, it may be uncomfortable. But if you focus there, you can create a sense of ease all the way through the in-breath, all the way through the out. And then you begin to realize this has an effect on your mind. And when it has an effect on your mind, it has an effect on how you're going to be dealing with other issues inside yourself and other issues outside. So you do play an important role in shaping your own experience. You're not just a passive victim of things coming in from outside. It's always important to remember this. This is what mindfulness is all about, to remind yourself that you can shape things in a good direction. There may be a lot of things outside that you can't change. After all, you have your past karma. that You can't go back and undo that. But you have control over your present karma right now. Again, John Suat, he would say that so many things out there are not self but there is something that is under your control, and that's your decision as to what to do or say or think right now. And all of this comes out of the mind, so you want to train the mind carefully. Give it a lot of attention. This was the intent of his instruction there, which was that we should pay full attention to what we're doing as we meditate. We don't just go through the motions. You want to be very careful about how you're relating to the breath, what you're doing with the breath and monitoring the results that you're getting. The more attention you give to the present moment in this way, in other words, the more appropriate attention you give to the present moment, the better the results are going to be, the more you're going to understand. So always approach this as an important task, training the mind. Give it top priority in your life, because there really is nothing else more important than this. When life passes away, what do you have? You have some memories for a while, but then even the memories go. Then all you've got is your awareness in the present moment. And if you're aware of things that make you miserable, you can learn how to change that awareness. Focus on the things that are positive, even in aging, illness, and death. There are some positive things in there. There's the awareness that doesn't have to die, doesn't have to grow ill, doesn't have to age, doesn't have to suffer along with these things. You want to learn how to maintain that. And you can do that only by paying careful attention, learning how to really focus the mind and stay with whatever you realize is the best thing to stay with. Now that you're strong and healthy, you can get practice in doing this, because the time will come when it's not so easy. But if you're well practiced, okay, then you can find even when it's difficult, you're able to do it. And you'll be glad that you had that practice in your past. <laughs>